So I was just reading a few of my latest YouTube comments for my exoskeleton video. Old Man Maestro says, I hate to be the one to point this out, but a man should be able to lift 170 pounds without the use of a mechanical exoskeleton. Hacksmith. We've got a special episode today where it's uh, all about the exoskeleton. So first of all, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers to the channel. Uh, you guys are probably here because of the exoskeleton. So I'm just going to try and field some questions about the exoskeleton so you guys know where this project is and where it's going. Alright, so first off, this is literally the first prototype. Um, it's nowhere near complete yet and I'm going to be adding a ton of stuff before I even consider calling it finished. So there's a lot of people saying, oh, it's, it's not portable, it's connected to a compressor, blah, blah, blah. This is literally just the first prototype. I am planning on having this completely portable, which means I'm going to have a, a air tank on the back, a compressor, battery pack, all that stuff. It's just I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm working on this design right now. I'll work on that design later. Um, the next big question, am I going to make legs for it? Yes, I'm going to make legs for it because I want to be able to lift even more weight with this and if I want to lift more weight safely I'm going to need to be able to actually brace the rest of my body because while I do work out spoiler um, trying to curl 300 pounds probably a bad idea for my back and my legs alright so another thing that was brought up it really doesn't look like the Elysium exoskeleton anymore um, I do kind of want to refine the design and bring it back towards that, but the problem with the Elysium design is it's mounted directly off of your body, which means you're relying on your skeleton to take all the load. Um, if I had made it like the Elysium exoskeleton, I wouldn't have been able to curl a really heavy weight, which is probably why the video went viral and got almost a million views in a week. If I just came up with the exoskeleton and just it helped a little bit, it wouldn't have been very popular. Um, that being said, I still want to maybe look at doing that as a second project, as well as continuing this one. But for the most part, people like to see a lot of augmented strength, like actually being able to curl something ridiculous, like over 200 pounds. And when I upgrade the compressor on this, I'm going to make it my goal to curl around 300 pounds, which is quite a bit. A few other simple things. Um, yes, I will actually be integrating proper controls into the handles. Um, for the test, it was just a button on a switch, and that was just because I needed to test the uh, proof of concept. Um, I do have a plan for it. Uh, down the road, I'm hoping to use Thalmic Lab's Myo wristband. It's this uh, new technology, and it's a wristband that actually can detect your muscles moving. So what it can do is it's for gesture-based computer manipulation. But what I could use it for, hooked up to a microcontroller, I could start lifting, and the Mayo would sense that and then send the signal to the, um, air, the uh, pistons to actually lift. So that'll be really cool, but that's, that's down the road a little bit. Alright, so this is where I need your help. Uh, I've entered a contest called the, the 2014 Boca Bearings Innovation Competition. And I need you guys to vote on my project because if I win, I could win $5,000 cash or a 3D printer or a GoPro Hero 3. Any of those things would help me with my videos, and if I won the cash, I'd put it all into this exoskeleton, so you'd see some really cool stuff. Um, there's a link in the description, so go over there, give me a vote. If I, if I get enough votes, then I win. Um, in addition to that, uh, a few of my subscribers have asked how could they help with this project. First of all, I love getting ideas from my subscribers. That's where half my ideas come from, even. Um, if you give me an idea, I'll probably use it, and you'll get to see it come to life. Second of all, I don't do YouTube for a living. I, I do make a little money off of YouTube, but until I'm making millions of views on all my videos, I don't make much. So, while I love doing this stuff, it's pretty expensive. Like, this exoskeleton's cost me hundreds and hundreds of dollars so far. And even with that, I've gotten the cylinders for free, I got a really good deal on the valve bank, 
it's just going to get more expensive from here, especially when I try making it really portable, having that compressor, all kinds of stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm setting up something called a Patreon account. And if you will, it's kind of like a uh, Kickstarter for content producers. So on Kickstarter, you generally you fund a project because you'll get something in return, like some kind of physical product or, or object. Whereas with uh, Patreon, if you really like my videos and you're, you enjoy them, then you can choose to um, set a donation amount per month or per video. I'm, I'm doing it per month because I'm trying to produce a lot of videos. So, for example, you could, it, it's not very much, a dollar a month doesn't seem like much, um, but if, if a bunch of you guys give me a dollar a month, I can make a lot of money. And all of it, all of it, will go into working on really cool projects and continue to bring you guys really cool content. So what's in it for you? So besides being able to fund my projects and actually let me make even cooler projects that I might not be able to do without extra help, um, if you become one of my Patreons, then you get access to some exclusive content. So for example, if you donate one dollar a month, um, you get access to the Patreon feed. So basically I'll post more updates on there, like pictures, all kinds of things, and you'll be able to talk to me directly on a discussion board. I try to respond to all comments on YouTube, but sometimes it's hard. If you're one of my Patreons, I will most definitely respond to you. Um, in addition to that, if you, if you uh, choose to donate more, um, I can help advertise your YouTube videos and mine. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of different reward levels, and depending on how well this goes, it could mean a lot for this channel. I could get new equipment, I could build even better exoskeletons, I could do all kinds of stuff. So if you're all, at all interested, check out the link in the description. I'm going to have another video that actually explains what Patreon is uh, a bit better, and yeah, thanks for watching.